truth. We all want justice, but I humbly ask everyone to avoid rushing to judgment until the investigation is over. More than 36 hours have passed since a Lono County deputy shot and killed a teenager during a traffic stop. And tonight, friends and family of 17-year-old Hunter Britton are planning yet another protest at the Lono County Sheriff's Office. Our Hunter Hoagland has been following this story since it broke, and Hunter, we see there the sheriff is talking about this now. Yeah, the sheriff released a video just moments ago trying to explain some of the questions that people still have up here regarding yesterday's shooting, but still a lot of unanswered questions tonight as this investigation was handed over to state police at the request of the Lono County Sheriff's Office. State police say Hunter Britton is the 17-year-old who was shot and killed by that deputy. Yesterday, family and friends of his protested here at the sheriff's office demanding answers. We have yet to hear from state police tonight as to why Hunter Britton was pulled over Wednesday morning or if the deputy's body camera was on. And as we mentioned earlier, just minutes ago, Sheriff John Staley released a video saying he fully supports the release of the deputy's body camera video, and it's going to be up to state police to make that public. We all want the truth. We all want justice. But I humbly ask everyone to avoid rushing to judgment until the investigation is over. State police have not returned our calls tonight as we've asked them to comment on this. As far as the Deputy Sergeant Michael Davis, who state police say shot Britain, he is on paid administrative leave tonight pending the investigation. Tonight's protest is set to start here at 6 o'clock, so just in about 30 minutes. Last night we saw about 100 people here in the parking lot. Britain's family tells me they're expecting even more tonight. Back to you.